Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm coming to you today from Linux, and we're going to install Apache Cassandra. Now, Linux is probably the best choice for installing Apache Cassandra. Out of the demonstrations I've given, uh, this is definitely by far the easiest, which makes sense because Apache Cassandra is designed to run on servers, and servers generally run Linux. And so this is a great option for you, whether or not you're testing out Cassandra or if you're trying to set it up for production. I'm going to use Cassandra 4, so we're exploring the new version 4 option here, which is very exciting. I'm excited that it's working well with Python 3 and from my experience it's also working well with Java 11. But anyways let's delve into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Apache Cassandra website. So we're going to go to cassandra.apache.org and then I'm going to click on documentation here and go through that. So first of all we'll click getting started. I'm going to click on installing Cassandra and you can see uh, that it requires Java 8 um, or OpenGTK 8, uh, but it has this little note here that says experimental support for Java 11. So I'm going to show you that with um, Java 11 and how to switch it to Java 8 if you prefer, or um, set it up so you can switch back and forth. Also, it supports Python 3, and this is true for uh, even if you're using the Cassandra query language shell. So if you want to use version 3 of a, a, a Cassandra, you'll need Python 2.7 to use the shell, Cassandra query language shell, but uh, if you're using this newer version, then uh, we can just stick with uh, the supported version of Python, which is excellent. Uh, we're going to uh, go in this video to the Debian installation method. Now I'm using Linux Mint here in this demonstration, which is based on Ubuntu, which is based on Debian. So if you're using Debian or Ubuntu or Linux Mint or something similar, uh, then these instructions will all work well for you. I really like Linux Mint. Um, it also has this nice time shift option which is built in. Obviously, you can install it on other versions as well. Um, but this allows you to create a snapshot, if you'd like, and uh, then restore your system to it pretty easily. So you might want to try something like that, uh, just in case we run into problems. Now, the first thing you'll note is we need to check our version of Java. So I'm going to open up the command line, and I'm going to type in java-version, like it suggests. And you can see I've got version 11 installed. So that should work experimentally with the current version of Apache Cassandra. Now you can install version eight just to be safe. Or if you don't have version 11 installed, maybe you have a newer version, you can uh, install version 11. And so feel free to skip over this next part if you um, have already set up with uh, Java 11 and you're happy with that. But um, if you'd like to be more in the supported realm, uh, then we can do sudo apt update to make sure we've got the latest packages. And I'm just gonna go ahead and enter my password. And then we'll go sudo apt install openjdk 8-jdk. And uh, this will install Java 8 as and keep Java 11 installed. So we'll have two different versions of Java installed, which works fine in Linux. We'll let this run for just a few minutes while it sets up. Okay, I now have Java 8 installed, but still if I type in java-version, it'll show up with the still Java 11, my newer version that was installed first. So if you want to switch between versions of Java, it's pretty easy. You can just do sudo update alternatives dash dash config Java. And you can see here I've got three versions installed and I'm currently selected on zero, which is Java 11, but I could press two here and hit enter to switch to version eight if I wanted to. I'm gonna just leave it at version zero for now and uh, we'll continue um, from there. But you, I could easily, if I run into problems, switch to uh, the earlier version. I also already have Python three installed. So I can type in Python three dash dash version and uh, you can see that's installed. I don't have Python 2, but if you wanted to use a previous version of Cassandra, you could do a uh, sudo apt install uh, Python 2 if you don't have that already, um, or Python 3 if you don't have Python 3 already installed. All right, let's go back to the instructions here, and the first thing we need to do is add uh, the Cassandra repository to our list of repositories, so we're going to copy this line here and paste that in. Now, note if you want a previous version of Cassandra, you just need to change this 40x here to be 311x. So you just edit the command slightly, do that, and you'll have vert the latest version of Cassandra that's prior to version 4. Uh, so we'll go back here, we'll paste this in, and hit enter. Now that's set up. And we'll scroll down and we'll add the key, copy this, paste it in. And then all that's left is to uh, run sudo apt update and then sudo apt install Cassandra. I'm going to just type those commands in uh, sudo apt update again. Good. And then sudo apt install 
Cassandra. You can see it's doing 4.0 release candidate one at time of recording the video. That's the latest version. Um, I'm looking forward to the full version being released. So that's it. Then we should be set up to go. Uh, we can check to see if it's running uh, by doing this node tool status. And it's not quite up and running yet. So if I see that error, I'm just going to go ahead and clear the screen by typing clear uh, and try it again. It takes sometimes a moment to load for the first time, especially if you have a slower system like mine. And there it is. So you can see the server is up and running. And um, I can also launch the uh, command, the Cassandra query language shell. So query language shell here, open that up and you can see I'm connected to it. It's ru running Cassandra 4. We could uh, describe the uh, cluster, for example, and see that information. Um, and obviously we can exit. Uh, so that's a simple setup for installing Apache Cassandra on Linux. Again, the easiest thing to do probably is to use Linux uh, when, when using Cassandra, a lot easier uh, than Windows and Mac. Uh, but if you have any problems, I hope you can Google and uh, use some technical sophistication, maybe look at Stack Overflow for some issues. And if you're really stuck, uh, feel free to leave a comment, let me know, um, and I'd be happy to try to help you. Uh, thanks, hope you enjoyed it.